Sup, my fellow gamers, this is Game and welcome to part two at two of our continuation of the whole album's ranking. So let's get back into it with number 19. Coming in at number 19, Red Hot Chili Peppers' Stadium Arcadium. Ah, uh, the 2006 album. I love that album. Like, number 19 for that is a good spot for this album. It's not one of the greatest, but I love it. It, it was originally in the top five, but hey. Coming in at number 18 is The Final Frontier. It's another awesome album. Oh gosh, I just noticed we're getting into the top next set of albums. Uh, yeah, The Final Frontier was a good one to end it on. Bruce Dickinson said in the Loudwire interview, which I'll probably leave a link in that in the description. Um, it's one of the good albums. I love it a lot. But The Final Frontier also has some of the good ones, like... They don't play The Alchemist or Isle of Avalon. Those are the, my favorite songs on the album. Now, the next album, coming in at number 17, is my first ever album I actually could hear with Ozzy on, is The Ultimate Sin. That was actually the first album, but Secret Loser on that album is the first one I heard ever. I can't believe it. Though, as much as Ozzy does better now in his newer albums now, he's done really good albums in the past. But, hey, I have to say that about the album. It's not bad, but it's not good either. Coming in at number 16, The Essential of Ozzy Osbourne. I think that The Essential shouldn't have counted, but hey, I had to put it in as that album. Because Ozzy Osbourne... Uh, there's a lot of Ozzy albums that are going to be in this list. In fact, the next album at number 15 is the next one. Number 15 is Bark at the Moon. I did not intend this to be all Ozzy stuff, all right? But I have a lot of his albums. So this is one of my favorite albums from him. I heard the title track live. It's good. I love this album. It's really good. Number 14 was hard for me to place this at. I did not like putting it here because I felt so ashamed of putting it there. Number 14 is Steal the Sound from System. System of a Down is still my favorite band. It's still number one. But we have 13 albums left. That is the last set of albums we have. Coming in at number 13, I can't believe it. The X Factor. Um, It's definitely a great album. I love it a lot. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, coming in number twelve. Oh, by the way, let me talk a bit of that about that. Um, it's Blaze's first album, but this next album at number tw eleven, twelve. Peace of mind. I don't have much time to talk about these albums, so that that's where I have to place it as because it's the Troopers album that has on it. But yeah, I have to say that. Coming in at number eleven, The Blizzard of Oz. I get so ashamed for placing that, because it's got Crazy Train, one of Ozzy's most popular songs. They Ozzy's had a show where he has not performed Crazy Train. Now we're in the top ten. And that is The Book of Souls. Book of Souls is the most recent album from them. But I can't say much, we only have about two or minutes. Coming in at number 9 is Toxicity from System of a Down. It's still a good album. I love every song on it. I cannot say much. Coming in at number 8, Mesmerize. Oh my gosh, I'm running out of time. I love this album. It's great. But it does not need any work. It's great. Number 7, Diary of a Madman. Okay, we are definitely running out of time. I'm trying to wrap this up, kind of. But now we're getting into the top 6. I can't believe it. Number six, Dad, you're gonna be annoyed. Power Slave. Two minutes to midnight. Ace is high, and the Power Slave and the Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner on here. Number five, I love it at a lot. Iron Man, Iron Maidens. Number the Beast. Hallowed Be Thy Name is my favorite from that album. And number four, Ozzy Osbourne's No More Tears album. I love it a lot. It's a great album. It's one of the greatest. Coming at number three, Stupefied. There we go. I mean, <laughs> the sickness, my bad. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I love that album. But next album at number two is Virtual Eleven. It's a great album. My favorite from Buddy Bailey and all of every single song on it. Number one, 
apparently still hypnotized. I love it, and I'm very hot. glad that you guys enjoyed the ranking video, and I hope to see y'all in another one, maybe. But I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.